Hey everybody, Eric Freshly here from Freshly Stream Games. A uh, different kind of video today because, well, I gotta update you kind of on what's going on with the podcast crossover attack. Um, you notice that you haven't seen it for a couple weeks. Um, there's a reason for that. I got really fucked at my day job, um, honestly, and they put me back on swing shift. Um, you know, I, I guess I, I don't know. The details don't matter, but. I, I, they screwed me. I'm not happy about it. And I'm back on swing shift now. And that makes scheduling the podcast really, really difficult to do. Um, we're, we're still going to try to make it work um, and just play it by ear and, and, and fit it in when we can. Um, but as far as, you know, that schedule we were doing of every two weeks, even though we did miss sometimes because we had, you know, we have stuff comes up in our lives. Um, but uh, so, yeah, that's going to be irregular now, unfortunately. And because of that, we'll probably not focus so much on news anymore. And maybe a couple of like, like evergreen topics, some more stuff we can do of that nature. Um, so, yeah, that's unfortunate. Also, we, we recorded one last night, had a big technical problem. I I tried to recover the audio. I, I think it's it's unrecoverable. Uh, it's 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 bad. So. Can't release that one either, unfortunately, which, uh, you know, just kind of a double whammy there. But I want to get on here anyway and still talk about something just, I guess, just me and you, something we did talk about on the podcast. Um, and that's the situation at Bungie. Uh, you guys know or you, you probably know I'm a big uh, Destiny fan. Um, I guess I'm like, I don't know, a hardcore casual Destiny fan, if that makes sense, because a lot of the end game stuff like raids and then PvP, I don't really get into. But I still even despite that, I still have played thousands of hours of the game. Um, and as you probably know, uh, by now there was big layoffs at Bungie uh, over over this week. Uh, Eight percent of staff, about 100 people. All gone, all cut. And like some of these are, are big, big names uh, like uh, uh, Liana Rupert, community manager there. Uh, the composer uh, who has done music throughout the whole history of the series. Some incredible music like Destiny's known for great music, no matter what. This and Bun or Sony rather uh, has been going through a lot of layoffs recently. Uh, Media Molecule had some layoffs. Naughty Dog laid off some contractors. Um, Sony Visual Arts, which is like a support studio that helps all of them, they had layoffs. According to Paul Tassi and uh, I think Jason Schreier too, these were more from Bungie. They were they're not necessarily tied to the rest of uh, the Sony lot layoffs. At least who was laid off those d decisions were made by Bungie and there's some pure evil shit going on here and uh, not just like all all layoffs are bad we know that uh, we've been talking about them on the podcast all, all year because this is the worst year for layoffs we've ever seen but some of the stuff like uh employee benefits not health insurance but other benefits expire at the end of the month that you're laid off and these layoffs were done on the 30th. So, you know, one day, one day, and then your benefits are gone. Um, some employees, a lot of them, sounds like, had shares from when Bungie was purchased by Sony that had not vested yet. And they just lose those now. They're gone. They were basically stolen from them because of, of this shit. I'm not too optimistic about the future of Destiny and about the future of Bungie. You know, it does seem like they're they're all in on uh, as part of this. Also, the final shape was delayed. Uh, and this has not been officially announced by Bungie yet, but Jason Schreier announced it. And he's he knows what he's talking about. That's been delayed till June and Marathon's been delayed to 2025, which Marathon never even had a publicly announced date of 2024. But that was apparently what they were shooting for. Things are not looking great. You know, you think about the final shape being delayed. That means now this current season that's going to start this month is going to last like six months now. That's fucking crazy. Um, that was not a season that the none of these seasons are designed to last six months. And now that's just going to have to happen. They might try to throw something together to fill in the gap like they did that 30th anniversary pack a couple years ago. But or they might just not do nothing. Um, and, you know. If they do that, like player retention's already way down. 
some internal people at Bungie have said this is the worst player sentiments ever been. And I'm feeling that I'm not even playing the game right now. I haven't played it in a long time because it's just not that exciting right now. Lightfall was a disappointment. The game's not that exciting right now, even though like these current seasons, season of the deep people say is good. It's just I'm not really eager to jump in. And there's so many other games this year. We've talked this how this year is just nonstop an embarrassment of riches at games. Um, so now when player sentiments weigh down, then you have this this current this next season that's going to start and that's going to stretch six months. Like you're going to be in a real bad spot when the final shape releases. And if the final shape isn't a home run, like I'm talking the best expansion destiny's ever had. Oh boy. I, I don't know what kind of spot you're in. Um, that is concerning. <laughs> and honestly, like there's a lot of people who just destiny two is getting long in the tooth for, they need a destiny three. And that seems to not be happening, which I think is a mistake. I feel like they should probably be doing that instead of marathon. I don't know if marathon's going to work for them. I understand a lot of people at Bungie are just bored of doing destiny. I get that. Uh, they've been doing it for a super long time, but um, marathon's a risk. First of all, it's an IP that we haven't seen forever. And this new version of marathon even really has nothing to do with the old IP anyway. And these extraction shooters are, you know, Tarkov's big, but it's not that big. Like, these aren't, uh, this isn't a franchise that's gone massive yet. Now you could say, you know, before Fortnite came along, uh, PUBG was big, but not as big as Fortnite made it to be. So maybe they're hoping Marathon can do that kind of thing. Take Tarkov and, and leapfrog it and make it huge. But that's a risk. Uh, I just feel that extraction shooters by nature are like the most hardcore of hardcore games. And I don't think necessarily think that's going to play to a mass audience unless they have some tricks up their sleeves that we don't know about great like there's a lot about the game we don't know about but just the nature of extraction shooters of constantly losing all your stuff whenever you die i don't know if you're gonna get a mainstream audience in that so now you're almost throwing away destiny i mean not completely but it does seem like it's on the back burner for them in place of this huge risk mm not feeling real great about that direction i almost feel like they should be doing destiny 3 instead i mean it's too late for that they already announced marathon and they've done a ton of work on it but uh that seems like a mistake now uh, as part of these reports also jason schreier talked about how employees at bungie have been going to the higher ups there and like letting them know hey we're in a bad state we need to be doing something drastic here's some suggestions xyz and they've all been rejected so it really seems like the hires up at Bungie. I mean, the, the tippy top doesn't have uh, their head on straight. At least it doesn't have doesn't have the same priorities that the rank and file employees do. And certainly not that the players do. And there seems to be a problem there. This is this almost exact scenario is the kind of thing we were promised and I, I bought into wouldn't happen with a, with a, the Sony purchase. Like this was, this is the kind of thing that was supposed to avoid. This was supposed to provide stability. This was supposed to uh, provide funding. And this, this wasn't supposed to happen when you get bought. I mean, obviously, okay. When you get bought by a big corporation, like a lot of times there's redundancies and that's, that's not uh, that's a tragic thing always. But this I don't think we're talking about redundancies here. This is just like, hey, we're you're not you're not hitting your marks, which, by the way, actually, I should have mentioned that on the top. They missed their their revenue projection by 45 percent. That's huge. Lightfall is was a disaster. It just was. And um, so like but that was. You're not supposed to get bought by Sony who's saying we're going to invest in Destiny and Bungie more than ever. And then them cutting a bunch of people because of uh, not hitting those marks necessarily. I don't know. This is not what we were led to believe would happen after the purchase. And Sony and all the gaming industry is cutting back all over the place. But this Bungie situation seems like more than that even. It just seems real bad, and I don't know how to turn it around other than like, hey, start Destiny 3, but 
they don't seem interested in that. And I don't even know if they can do that. I mean, they just lost a ton of people. So I don't know, man, it's a bad situation. Uh, I wish, you know, we could have, you could have heard the original talk about it. We had on the podcast, but I definitely just wanted to get something out there um, because that podcast episode is, seems to be unrecoverable. And I wanted to talk about this in some way because this whole thing has got me fired up. It's got me mad and uh, it should worry you too. You know, um, you know, you think about if if this if this is happening to Bungie, how about all the rest of those Sony live service games? Like, what's going to happen there? And I'm not even I don't think Sony's live service push is necessarily a mistake. I know a lot of people online are, are fired up about it, about that. But they are if they're going to do it, they have to be patient with these uh, games. I know that Destiny is a, a bit of a separate case, but like these other ones, they're not going to come out. 10 out of 10s um, because the, most of these developers that they have doing live service games now have never done them before. So they have to uh, be patient with a lot of these and not just start cutting heads off at the first sign of trouble. And uh, Bungie has got to do something, man. Uh, Final Shape has to be a home run. Marathon has to be a home run. Both those two or or uh, unfortunately, I think we're going to see more of this. And that is a tragic, tragic thought. Um, my heart's out to everybody who was laid off. I hope all you can find spots in the industry now. Um, I know there's a lot of, there is still many studios hiring up. There's still a demand for talent, even though it seems like this year is rough and it is rough, but there's still a lot of demand for talent. Maybe not triple a, maybe not some of these major companies, but there's still studios hiring. Um, but, uh, doesn't make any of this okay. Anyway, now I'm just kind of rambling, and uh, I just wanted to talk about it because I'm fired up, and you should be too. Goodbye.